Hi, this is Reese from Creator Serum, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create freedom in the cloud with Creator. Now, if you're living in Sydney, it's becoming a must to and solving this problem for your business. And I'm going to go through my story and the cost of living in Sydney and how much it costs and how we have to change our ways in how we work and how we actually can solve the problems with our staff and our business and have a better lifestyle through Creator's Cloud. Now with my story, I want to tell you that I have three kids. I have another baby on the way. I'm also looking after a father-in-law who has had a stroke and I'm running a small business of five staff. So there's a lot on our plate in Sydney and we have a lot of activities that we have to do and manage in our life. Now the reason why I'm doing this video is because we just had a Productivity Commission report just through Australia here. Now here's a report or one of the pages we have from the report that says the goal is to have a sustainable economic growth to improve the well-being of Australians. Um, now I probably want to go through <laughs> the exact facts of us Australians in Sydney and what we have to go through. now. Our average house prices are now $1.1 million. That's an average of $5,500 a month. If, for example, we have two kids, now I have double that now, but on two kids, on average, the daycare centers is going to be on an average $100 times two and sometimes $2,000 a month if you live in Sydney. The power bills are $1,400 a quarter or $450 a month. If you're traveling for two parents, you're probably looking at um, $600 or $2,500 a month. And that totals up to $10,000 just in expenses a month. And so you really need a, a wage of $200,000. Now, I'm, I'm going to go through all the exact facts of this and go through that we do need to change our ways. And we do, as a business owners, we need to probably have a flexible working hours for our staff to have better living and take responsibility of this issue, I think, in Australia as well. So Sydney prices and now in this magazine um, article here is going to be one million dollars for a 35 kilometer radius around the city. Now I'm going to actually draw a map on this. Now this is in April 2017 and it's only going up here. So let's go into here and to show you what the 35 kilometer radius is. So if we look at the map here in create, inside of Creator, this is the 35 kilometer radius of Sydney itself. Um, so all around here will be a million dollars in the house prices on average. Now, so for example, if you're running a business and you need staff and they want a quality of living, they're going to have to have a, a, a um, uh, interest rates of five and a half thousand dollars just to survive here. Now, however, if we look up here in this nice area over here, just only um, a few more kilometers above that, it reduces it drastically. Now we're looking at travel costs. Now in Sydney, it's going to be an average of thirty dollars a day to go through the city, which is um, if you're fifty-two kilometres away on average, which most people will be because obviously that's where they can afford. You've got all these particular tolls that we have to pay um, going through all these elements um, to other cost of living. So when we calculate that, that's thirty dollars a day going there and back in twenty dollars. Maintaining a car is about one hundred and eighty-one dollars and fifteen cents a week on that area there. And now there is the daycare cost, which is $2,000 a month in Sydney alone. Medium cost for long daycare cost, which is about $100 a month, is roughly between $70 and $992, which um, in September 2017, it shows you that you are paying around this amount of dollars per kid to do daycare. Now you can see the treadmill starting to happen where the Parents have to have two jobs, or both parents have to work to pay the $1.1 million house to live in the 35 kilometer radius. At the same time, they have to pay daycare costs, which is roughly $1,000 a month per kid. And obviously, most kids, most parents have um, two to three kids, and that's going to be about $3,000 a month right there just in to continue to pay for the cost of living. So, what is the solution? The solution is to have flexible working arrangements for your staff. That means that they can save $2,000 a month just on interest alone if they live somewhere like Gosford, which is 70 kilometers, 75 kilometers away, even Tugra, even cheaper. Now, when it compare versus Wilmot, which is the cheapest house prices in Sydney, which is 50 kilometers away, and show you the difference in living here and the difference in the suburbs of living. So, for example, if we go to Wilmot, um, and here, that's right now, is a travel arrangement, which is about 51.8 kilometers. It's going to take f um, 47 minutes to drive to Sydney. For example, if we go to Gosford in here, 
it's going to be an hour and nine minutes. Now, pretty much if we compare the pairs, we can see, for example, um, um, someone like uh, uh, Wilmont um, and Shelby and all these areas, these are the houses what you're going to get. So you can look at these houses um, in here around the um, Six hundred to seven hundred thousand uh, dollars a mark in there. There's a six sixty mark in here, oh, and there's a, something under six hundred thousand here, which is um, a very a, a niceish area of a house. But it really is not the standard living that you would like to have compared to the money and value you can get. Now the same price level we have in Tagra has beautiful waterfront views. And you can start seeing here where you can uh, find out with the quality of living is a bit more better, closer to beaches, um, better lifestyle, and, and all it is is 40 kilometers or extra in driving, or even 25 extra kilometers. Now, in time levels, it's about 20 extra minutes a day, um, one way. So, for us, the, the one of the goals is to just simply uh, give the people the choice and freedom to live a bit further and better quality of life and then we can start looking at um, taking um, um, part-time the ability to work flexible hours which is three days in the office and two days at home now with that in mind that will give, give a savings of a sixteen hundred dollars in daycare um, for, for um, the average home and also four hundred dollars in travel per month so two thousand dollars so on calculation that is about four and a half thousand dollars in savings a month just in just flexible hours um, in actual uh, living and what we're trying to say to people is we need to actually develop software for our um, staff to actually work three days a week in the office and two days a week at home. Now that pretty much gives them the ability to have a beach life and I, as something we're very close to living in the beach. It gives them more time with the family. That When they clock off at 5.30 when they're at home, they can clock off at 5.30 and give quality time to the family, um, more school. We can really have a quality life in that area there. Now, what we have done with our creator is that um, we have solved a lot of these problems and we've got it all in the one location uh, system which has a creator PBX, it has lead tracking tools, sales management tools, automation of email marketing, job management, quoting system, and inventory and a lot more. So that gives you the flexibility of having one system that's quite affordable and gives your staff the flexibility of working any location and not have to pay the huge cost of living there. So what does creator look like for you now? I'm going to drag and cross in this system here and I've got a lot of videos to show up but right now I'm at home. I had my wife who actually had to go out and I had to look after the kids. And what I can do with Creator is manage my office in the cloud knowing where all the staff are up to. So for example, I can see there all the staff working, clocking off during the day, to, um, putting the status of what they're doing so and finding out what jobs they're in right now. And so one of them has been quite funny seeing so hardly working. Um, I have a phone system in the cloud itself that can actually um, find out who's been calling what and, um, and when the calls were done and, find, and make logs and find out if there's anyone on a call at any time. So this giving me an awesome collaboration tool um, that it can actually uh, find out where my staff are find out what they're doing and communicate to them clearly or if they're, for example, busy, I will know that all in one system. Now I'm going to go through that a bit more in some of the videos, but that's a key thing that we're trying to solve right now for our, our um, staff is flexible working hours because what we're going to find um, as we go through and the staff as they go through, they will probably want a house to live in and they will probably need to have those flexible working arrangements. Now the key thing is, is your software going to help your staff do this or are you going to actually be locked down to technologies that can't enable that whatsoever. I'm hoping we can discuss this more and I can show you quite easily through other videos how it can easily solve these problems for your work, um, your business business and allow you to work as a business owner anywhere, anytime and also allow your staff to work there and also give you the, the um, confidence that your staff actually are working very hard for you and they can have that freedom of uh, and freedom of staying about, saving about four to five thousand dollars a month um, 
and your software can actually en enable that and also show how, um, how how they do work for you and um, help you in your business. Now, I hope that helps you. Um, just on the overview of with Creator All in One and how that can help with flexible working hours. If there's any questions um, about this video, it's a bit of an intense one, but it's more of a giving you the facts of Australian Sydney living and really what we should do to change to help our staff um, to get to the next level. Hopefully this helps, thanks.